usually when law enforcement is in contact with somebody, there's something wrong going on. Let, let's be real there. It, it usually is something wrong. This isn't that. We're not here to investigate anything. We're not here to take anybody to jail. We're just here. We're just here to run with you. It's really broken those barriers. You see those smiling faces. You don't see that, that fear. We really need to let them know law enforcement isn't against them. They're, they're there to help them uh, and, and to serve as a role model to these kids. Detective Sean Dodge is with the Modesto Police Department. Today, he's running with students at Shackelford Elementary School in Modesto. He's part of a program called 10K with a Cop. We're gonna stretch, so we just do one lap and then we need to stretch. That's just a warm up, guys, okay? Four days a week, you'll see a group of little kiddos out there. And they stay after from 2.30 to 3.30, and they run around the playground with certain law enforcement officials. Sue McCann is the principal at Shackelford Elementary. She, along with Detective Dodge and other law enforcement officials, teamed up to create 10K with a cop in 2018. Shackelford is not the only school that's participating. We have multiple agencies going to multiple schools throughout San Salas County. Because I'll tell you what, if I wasn't, I'd be going all over the place too. So just step on the tippy toes, okay? It's a beautiful relationship that they're establishing and it saves a lot of these kids. Many of these students who participate have endured a lot of hardships at such a young age. They don't have a father figure in their life right now. They don't have a mother figure in their life right now. So right now, um, they're very at risk. And a lot of students, um, you know, they don't have the best impression of law enforcement. Um, all I have to do is turn on the news. That Chicago police officer charged with murdering a teenager firing 16 shots officer excessive. It's been rough, and that's, that's the thing. We have those conversations. For example, I'll be running with a kid, and I'll ta start talking about a law enforcement officer that came to their house the night before. And they just may assume, because I'm a, a police officer, oh, it was you. You showed up at my house last night, and it wasn't me. Uh, but, but we're able to break those barriers and maybe explain uh, a, a little bit about why we did what we did, uh, and maybe get some explanation, too, from them as far as this is what's going on in the home. Basically, we are just letting those conversations take place more organically and more uh, on their terms, not ours. Something negative has turned into something very beautiful and very positive. This is something I do on my own. Um, I don't get compensated for it. When you talk to the community about the fact that you're doing this on your own time, I, I think it makes a bigger statement for what we're doing. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I know um, instead of being with their families, they come and see us to encourage us. And that's why I would like to thank them. Being with the cop is amazing. And I might even be a cop when I grow up. I just want to be a cop when I grow up, or a runner. Our goal, besides the relationship building, is to have these kids complete a 10K. Good job, good job. Finish it up. Obviously, nobody's going to go out there and run 6.2 miles, especially a child, uh, at the beginning of all this. Uh, so we basically building mile upon mile uh, till we reach that 6.2 miles. One, two, three. Ten. Good job, guys. We'll see you guys. Ready, go. One, two, three. Four, loudly, hey me! After several months of preparation, the youngsters are ready to do their very first 2K run. <laughs> Students. Oh, I got to find Ready to go. Parents. Faculty and law enforcement from across the county have gathered on this early morning to participate. There's nothing more rewarding when you see communities come together. All the kids, let's get together close. We're gonna start running. It's just amazing to see them actually have a goal, 
and they're accomplishing it every month in these runs. And what a great life skill, right? The power of yet. You're not there yet, but you keep working hard and you'll get there. Ready, set, go! I love to see hard work come to fruition and I'm seeing that. Good, good job. They cross over those finish lines and those parents are there. just to see them accomplish a goal that they probably never thought was possible. Running is a lot like life. You're gonna have those uphills and those downhills. Uh, sometimes those uphills are rough, you know, and in life sometimes those uphills are rough as well. And teaching these kids to push past that and set goals to move past these challenges in life. Don't quit. Don't quit. Push it, push it. Push it, push it. Nice job. Good job. Man. This is important. It's our future. Nice job. Come on, come on. You got it. Boom. Since 10K with a Cop was founded, kids have run more than 22,000 miles alongside law enforcement officers. School programs in California's Central Valley and Los Angeles reach 650 students a year, emphasizing the importance of physical activity, while also building crucial relationships that organizers hope will last long beyond the finish line.